Hey, it's YouTube, and you're watching Elemental ATV. Subscribe, like, and hit that damn bell button so you don't miss any of my new content. It's just that easy. I read a few things about going aftermarket, and honestly, I couldn't find any good excuse to buy an aftermarket one. Uh, from what I read, horsepower-wise, the aftermarkets one give you a little bit less, but their cleanability, uh, as far as re um, reusing it and washing it, are far better. Now, I read another one that these ones are able to be washed, and... I didn't really know it didn't read far enough, but uh, I was happy paying 70 bucks for that. Uh, now, it was just a pretty good guesstimate that uh, I needed one. Uh, now, are you ready to see the one that was in it? Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> I had a pretty good idea without even looking at it that it needed an air filter. I don't think I've seen one quite so bad. Uh, it's really surprising this thing run at all. Holy shit. I don't know, if anybody has <laughs> pictures of one that's worse, I, I would love if you posted them below, I would love to see them. This is the worst air filter I have ever seen. Now, this should have been the very first thing that I did when I got the bike uh, a few months ago. I think I got it back in August or something. It's it's February now. But uh, it was just one of those things that was starting and running, so I just used it. Holy shit. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna clean all this gunk out and uh, get the new air filter in there. And can any of you imagine that this thing will run a heaps load better with the new one in? Um, I should have known. Uh, when I picked up this bike, the brakes were completely shot. I was lucky they didn't actually uh, damage the rotors at all. I'm still having problems with the rear caliper. Uh, it's not holding pressure, it bleeds off. Uh, so that'll be another video as well, just taking it off and maybe buying a seal kit for it and rebuilding it, throwing it back on. Anyways, I'm going to replace this and uh, maybe uh, keep an eye out for any critters that may be lurking down in there. Uh, I forgot to actually come to this side. There is a nest in there. Holy shit. There is acorns. Wow. Uh, I knew this guy used it for a hunting bike, but Jesus. I, I still can't get over this. <laughs> oh, is that a shock? There's a fucking shotgun shell in there. Guys, I shit you not, that was inside. What the hell? And it's fucking loaded. It's a full one. Sorry for swearing, but this is real. I did not put this here. I am not a hunter. Jesus Christ. I'm going to have to get a still picture of that. Holy cow, i got to send that to my brother. This is the shotgun shell that I found in the airbox in my 09 k and Outlander. In the air box, a fully loaded shotgun shell. Not even, not even an empty shell that some squirrel found. It's a fully loaded shell, which is beyond imagination how he even got a hold of this thing. I, honestly, maybe it was a dud and a hunter dropped it off and it just, they just left it there in the woods, I'm guessing. And he decided he liked the uh, yellow color and, uh, and just decided that it was going to be something nice and warm, but... Man, 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 it was like right there in the airbox, just like that. Could this thing have gone off? Like you can see the black indentation where it was leaning against the airbox. You know, it's it's kind of like concave right there, as you can see. Man, oh man, I hope this thing couldn't have gone off. I'm, if you look right down in there, you can see a couple more shells. Looks like the um, the previous owner. He did say he was a hunter. This was up at his camp for maybe five, six months of the year just kind of sitting there. Anyway, so obviously he's dropped a few in there, but still, man, those sitting down in there, I don't like them in there. You heat up, you blow my face off, I don't know. A lot of you hunters will probably laugh at me, but I uh, don't feel comfortable with them there, so I think I will take them out. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fish them out. All right, so um, just fish this out from in there, no wait, in there, underneath, and uh, well you can see the slug there. Jesus Christ, um, I don't know. This thing's pretty dangerous I would imagine. Maybe all the powder's melted out. I don't really know how bullets work guys, I'm not a hunter. Um, all I know is that's bouncing around in there, underneath all that, down in there, in there somewhere. So, two of them. I don't see any other ones in there, so I'll, I'll look around and see what else, but man, oh man, it's kind of, kind of scary to see that ammunition stuck down inside there, just bouncing around freely. Anyways, 
Hopefully I don't find anything else that's stuck down in there.